this coming of age film, you know, it's very intense, set in the 1980s in, in Italy. But it's also exploring a lot about these young men's sexuality. Do you think there are still taboos to be broken on and off the screen? My movie is not about taboo. I don't think it's about taboo. It's about uh, people who look for oneself. They look for the other and they explore the, the inse- themselves. It's not about taboo. So I don't know how to answer this question. I feel like the, the location itself is, is almost like a character. It seems like very important. You know, how, how does that play a role for you? Well, I wanted to shoot there because it's the place where I live, but it's also the place where many films that I love, like La Luna by Bernardo Bertolucci, again, Novecento by Bernardo Bertolucci, or The Strategy of the Spider by Bernardo Bertolucci, been set. And I am a big admirer of Bernardo, and I wanted to pay homage to this wonderful legend. And it's based on a book by Andrei Asiman. What was it about the story that you wanted to put on the screen, and how was that process? I think the reason why I ended up making the movie is because I was able to cast these people. The book is amazing, but I never, I, it didn't click on me immediately at my film. It was more about helping make the movie happen as a producer. But when I realized that I could put together this beautiful cast, I said, OK, let's do it. Eventually, I think that the teams in the book are very close to me. Desire, the meeting with the other, the capacity of becoming. And can you tell us about your next project? So, and I believe you'll be working with Tilda Swinton again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a movie called Suspiria, and it's a horror movie in Tilda, Dakota Johnson, Chloe Grace Morris, Mia Goss, Angela Winkler, Ingrid Caven, and Sylvie Testud, they all star in it. Congratulations on the film, it is tremendous. I mean, the reviews and everything, I mean, you must be delighted and overwhelmed with the response so far. Exactly, I'm delighted and overwhelmed, and I would have humbled. In terms of your approach to this, I mean, was there any films or filmmakers that kind of, I know you obviously meant Bertolucci, I mean, was this your kind of love letter to him in terms of the way you shot and the way that you made the film? Yes. Uh, what about that? I mean, that was, was that an influence on you? Bertolucci Bernardo, yeah, 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 big influence. Big, 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 big. I've been uh, nurtured by his cinema since I was very young. Okay. I'm a bit of a stalker of Bertolucci. <laughs> <laughs> you shot the movie quite quick as well. I mean, was that important to, to the flow weeks. of the movie? Was that quicker than mo- other movies that you've made? Yeah, probably the quickest of all, yeah. Yeah, an amazing cast. I mean, when you got this cast, you must be Different delighted. Cast. That's yeah. so, so good Wait together. Wait until you meet uh, Esther. She's amazing. Of course, I was going to ask you about her as well. You know, everyone talks about she's, the boys. Uh, she's she's phenomenal. Michael the Stilberg way she acts well. is so beautiful. Michael is a legend. And, yeah. yeah. And we spoke a couple of days ago, I spoke to Tilda about Suspiria. She said it wasn't a remake, it was more of a cover of the original movie. I mean, are you excited for audiences to see your I version? I like, I like what Tilda says about Suspiria. Yes, it's a cover, but I'm not sure. Uh, for me, it's not a remake, it's not a cover. It's, uh, it's something very personal. It's uh, my way of paying homage to the kid I was when I saw the movie at 14. So it's basically really uh, a dive into myself. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, 